Lisbeth Leroy here with the sixth episode on drone flutes and this time I'll be reviewing two triple drones by uh, the Brazilian maker Edwin Sota. So here's the first one. It's a triple drone in uh, A shape as you can see and um, it's very lightweight. I can almost hold it with my pinky and um, it is tuned in the key of G. I'll first play the single flute, then uh, the single with the drone, and then uh, the single with the third uh, drone. And uh, it's a drone um, which starts at uh, the fifth, no fifth note of the scale. And you can uh, also play the three holes <coughs> in that flute together with the main flute. Here it comes. This flute has drawn, so um, three holes are open, so it's the fifth scale, uh, the fifth note on the scale. together. with this flute. First I had a, a triple drone and it was made in one piece, three flutes in one piece of wood, but I wasn't very uh, comfortable with it. I hardly played it because um, my small uh, hands and fingers could hardly um, uh, reach uh, all the holes. The grip was really too wide for me. So I hardly played it and eventually I sold it uh, because maybe someone with bigger hands would have more benefit. But I really do like these <coughs> A-shaped uh, triple drones that you can really play the individual flutes. For me that is a big advantage. <coughs> you can see it's nicely decorated with some uh, cabochons and some wrappings and also uh, some carvings, uh, the peace sign and the ohm sign. So it's really a, a very nice flute and uh, I'm grateful to Edwin for this one. Recently I acquired the second triple drone by Edwin and it's a very special one. It's not an A-shaped drone, but it's um, shotgun style, but instead of two flutes, it has three flutes. And it is um, tuned in, a, in an Arabic scale, 
and um, um, he also makes them in minor pentatonic scale, but this one is Arabic. Also very lightweight. I'll first play the main flute. together with the main flute. to it. Um, it's a good mouthpiece but playing the tree together you have to open your mouth more widely. So it's again a very nice flute, very lightweight. I can just hold it with one hand. I've got a drone flute um, shotgun style like this from another maker and it's really heavy. I had to, um, to uh, attach a saxophone strap to it to be able to play it uh, but this is uh, is really nice and light also very nice decoration again so um, yeah great flute keeper so as some of you uh, might know um, I'm not only a big fan of uh, drone flutes but also of bass flutes and I'm planning to um, make uh, a series on bass flutes too. So if you, want, uh, if you don't want to miss it um, and you haven't already subscribed, just push the button and you'll see it coming uh, one of the next days, weeks. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Take care and see you next time. Bye bye.